Yesterday we had a rare phenomenon, the draining of the lava pool in the K1. I have not seen it in any other volcano in this area definitely. And this is what happened. We had the lava oozing out all the time through that smoking uh, lava tube into this uh, contained uh, uh, lava pool. And then as the time goes by, you can see that this starts to boil. That's the sign that the lava is getting drained. If something is uh, creating a vertex in it and practically uh, breaking the hard surface of the uh, crust of the lava and then it starts to boil as it drains. So that's what we know. When it starts to have this kind of flashes, it's going to drain. This is a lava pool which is interesting because we are seeing it now draining. I'm speeding it up so you can see quickly. This is 200 times I'm speeding it up. And uh, as you can see, it does it very dramatically. I wanted always to know the depth of it. I had my guesses. Now with this, I can say that the depth of this uh, um, lava pool is interestingly deep. And I will wait, then I will go now. I'll brighten up the image a little bit just slightly for you so you can see that the height of this side of the volcano is 50 meters. The other side probably is around 55 to 60. And as you can see here, <coughs> I've marked it. Uh, my markers are there. This is 50 meters to my estimate. The lava pool from the base of that uh, surrounding area, which is not very big actually, 16 meters. And the depth to the uh, bottom of the lava pool I guess must be around at least nine meters. This is what what I can see so far with the amount of the lava drained. So this one is around nine meters, or give or take uh, minus one uh, or plus one. And that's the depth of the volcano. These are the dimensions.